if you want to know what my favorite compliment is, you smell good. All things leading up to you putting your perfume on, when I tell you to dry down, it smells immaculate. I be like, mmm, I smell delicious. I love that. I love that for me. Why layer one when I can layer two? People can smell you across the room. Flip like a pancake. <laughs> so you gotta put that stuff on. They don't say stuff, they say ish. Put that stuff on. For the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, you just don't. What do you do, me and Morgan? It's your girl Bianca Shanice, and I'm back with a new video. If you're new here, hello, and if you're, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Also, please don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get alerts when your girl posts a new video. Cause what? Cause what? Cause y'all gonna see me. So for today's video, we will be talking about layering 101. I will be showing you guys how to layer, how I layer, what is layering, and giving you some examples for set combos. And if that is something that you would like to see. Please stay tuned and keep on watching. How to layer your scents so you can get the most out of all your scents. I have became so in love with smelling good. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I have always enjoyed smelling good. If you want to know what my favorite compliment is, you smell good. But when I hear you smell good, it just does something to me on the inside. I'm like, <laughs> I smell good. I would say I got into perfume probably about three, two, three years ago. I have always loved to smell good. I always wore a body mist, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secrets, which I still do. I'm not gonna act like I don't, I still do. But as far as like on a perfume thing, not so much. I will say I was always into oils. I really thought perfume was something that was just like something that I myself wasn't able to get get my hands on as far as i just felt like i didn't see the value of spending money on perfume if that makes sense but once i got my hands on a few perfumes i see why people be spending their money over here probably back in 2021 or 20 i think 2021 when i started working yeah 2021 i got into perfumes to be honest y'all i do not know what kind of perfume to buy i just was like i'm just gonna go buy something my first perfume was a blind buy if you don't know what a blind buy is you buy buy perfume you buy anything without actually trying it on or smelling it you just blind buy it. so the first blind buy of perfume that i had bought was this baby here cute bottle and this is rihanna rebel fleur flare i know i'm probably butchering that last word but this is the first perfume I bought here. This is the second one. And y'all, it's gone. <laughs> I got to get me another bottle. I will definitely repurchase this again. It's like a one or two sprays out of here. And baby, it's one and done. <laughs> if that. So those are the two perfumes that I have bought to start my collection. Shortly after that, I started to see different type of perfumes and um, hearing people seeing what the notes are and I, I and I actually had the chance to go in different places such as Ulta Sephora to smell fragrances and see what I like what I don't like but I want to say over the past year or two your girl been layering your girl has been layering her scents your girl has been layering her perfume what is layering what is layering so basically layering is mixing one or more fragrance together so they can complement each other you can mix you can mix two or three fragrance together i really don't try to go past three if i do i don't if i don't try to go past three i don't think i ever mix more than three fragrances well i don't think i ever mix three perfumes i kind of stick to two perfumes but like far as like body wash body lotion butters and all that yeah i do do that but as far as like perfumes i kind of stick to like two complimenting one or the other get the desired signature one to create your own signature scent to create your own signature scent bubble if that makes sense if this was like a vanilla and this you know had vanilla in it but it also got some other notes in either or i will pair these two together to get the create the scent that i want or say if the vanilla in this perfume is stronger than the vanilla in this one if i want to heighten it i can mix these together 
don't get me wrong these two perfumes or perfumes in general are can be good just by themselves once again like i said if you want to create your own scent your own signature scent or you just want to play around and just have fun with your scent for that day then you can also layer your perfume scents can also complement each other so well like if you have a more musky note in this one and you kind of want to make it sweeter to like a gourmand you can play off like that or if this was like a clean floral and you want to kind of switch it up with another note you know your notes can you know complement each other so well so once you figure out what kind of scent you like or what kind of notes you like in a, a fragrance you can kind of like play around with different fragrances to get your desired scent also one of the fragrances that everybody loves, which I still do love, and I don't care, I'm gonna love it to death. I don't have the actual one. I got a dupe. I got a dupe. Um, it's Baccarat. Like every, I feel like by this point, everybody should, everybody kind of know what Baccarat smells like. You can go out to the store, you could be like, mm, somebody got Baccarat on. But also, people do be having dupes. People be acting like they be having the full Baccarat, but they got a dupe on, which is nothing wrong with that. But some people do be lying but like baccarat everybody know what baccarat smell like just about um let's say if i want to add cloud or i want to add another scent with it to so kind of switch up the scent so it won't be so like oh she got on baccarat but no like if somebody smell like oh it smell like baccarat but it also smell like something else but they can't pinpoint and it's like people be like well what you got on and i kind of be struggling when i be explaining what i have on because of my layering i've been missing so much to create my own scent so it's like i don't know if i want to say if i got xyz on or if i got this on so it kind of be kind of hard but i just like show them everything that i put on and you know go from there also another thing to why i do like to layer is because the dry down y'all the dry down of all the perfumes that you put on with your pre perfume all things leading up to you putting your perfume on, when I tell you to dry down, it smells immaculate. It's just like you frying chicken. Like everybody know what chicken smell like. And so when you taste it, you taste the seasoning. If you know your seasonings like that, you're gonna be like, mm, I taste um, slap your mama, or I taste um, cayenne pepper. Like when that dry down happened with your scents, you start smelling this gourmand. You might start smelling YSL Libre. You might start smelling um, Cloud. Like, you will start smelling different notes of everything that you put on. And it's like, it just come out of nowhere. Like, when you first put it on, you got this, whatever type of scent you created, you smell that. But I feel like throughout the day, you start smelling different notes of this and this and then, girl. I'm talking about girl, girl, girl like, because I'm talking to y'all, because y'all my girls, y'all my memoirs, my loves. Um, child, when I do that, I be like, mm, I smell delicious. Like, it just come out of nowhere. It ain't nothing when you walk into a store or walk into a place and you walk past somebody and they be like, ma'am, ma'am, what you have on? You smell good. Or chasing you down, you know, just to figure out what you have on. I love that. I love that for me. I'm going to love that for you too because once I get finished with this video, we have y'all layering scents down pack. So basically I said, what is layering? You create your own signature scent. You create your own scent bubble. And you want to get the most out of your perfumes. Like, yes, it's okay for us to just layer one. But why layer one when I can layer two? I don't think these two go well together. Let me see. Like these two, I don't think they will pair well. Cause this is more, like I said, if you know what Ariana smell like, it's more like a clean, a chill, soft vanilla with a little musky. It's just, it's really, it, it just smells, it's just the opposite of these. And it's kind of really hard. Cause they got praline, tuberose, and this. Like these are, this is a good everyday scent. I don't feel like this will be a good everyday scent. I feel like you can wear this every once in a while, but I feel like this is more of a nighttime scent, if that makes sense. It's, that's also a thing. You have your daytime scent, your everyday scent, and your nighttime. That is a thing, but 
if you bought your perfume, you wear your stuff whenever you you feel like it, because I do. It's, but, you know, as I, you know, kind of got maturity and, you know, sense and went the right time to wear it in the winter, in the fall, or in the spring, because that's the thing, too. But at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. You you paid your money to, for your perfume, you wear it whenever you want to. I'm not saying that's what you have to do, but I'm just saying, you know, it's a thing, you know, but who cares? Like I said, you can do, what you, do whatever you want to do. Also, another thing with layering your perfume is you get it to project like and you people can smell you across the room it projects well and you want to get the longevity out of it because when you wear like body mist okay you may get an hour or two if that but with layering like starting from your body wash you know your oils your butters your creams your moisturizers um your perfumes your your roll-on oils like if you have all that it's gonna project and it's gonna last you, you when i tell you i smell myself from the time i put my stuff on showering and putting my stuff on i still smell good later that night the way i layer my stuff no cap i'm not lying and it's been working for me so i wanted to work for y'all your body chemistry your body heat is gonna make the per it's gonna make the perfume project well and everybody body chemistry and body heat what may smell away on me may not smell away on you some perfumes may not work good with your body chemistry or your body heat and that's okay too at the end of the day i just feel like you know don't make layering your perfume difficult than it has to be like it's supposed to be fun you know it's something that gets you excited about you know getting ready starting your day because you know we it be some tough days out here and you can look forward to you know let me get up and take me a nice hot shower put you know your 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 hygiene routine my hygiene routine i look forward to it every day i just do i look forward to you know lotion in my body you know just coming out the house smelling good i could be having the crappiest day and i get myself get myself prepped and ready to you know go out i was like okay What's my scent gonna be today? Like I literally be planning like what my scent gonna be. So basically how to layer. I'm gonna also give y'all some examples with different scent combos that I like to layer that pairs so good together that I love for me. And at the end of the day, what you love, this person may not love. And what they love, I may not love. And that's okay. As long as it smells good to you, then that's that's what that's what it is. How to layer your scents. So for me my start in the shower with my body wash whatever type of scent that i plan on wearing that day i want to pick and choose a body wash or i just will stick with a clean body wash for the start of my routine once i get out the shower um i don't dry off all the way i kind of be a little damp and then i'll go in with my oil or i will start with like my heavy my moisturizing products such as like lotion or my body butters or my body cream then if I don't choose to put my oil on first and I just directly jump into putting my creams and my body butters on, I'll go and seal my body cream and body butters with an oil. I body wash, I body butter, body creams or lotion. Then I seal it with the oil. Body mist from Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret, I'll spray that all over my body, you know, to let it get the scents and stuff flowing, you know, get everything going. A roll on oil that matches with my scent and i'll just you know put a, a um a swap i'll swipe it here i'll put it here here i'll do it in between like my legs and like in the back of my thighs then after that's all done put my clothes on i'll spray my body mist again then i'll go in with my perfume so i would like to go with my heavier stronger perfume first and then the one that complements that perfume, I'll go in with that, if that makes sense. I'm going to show y'all some examples in a few. Top it off with the oil that I had used right here between my legs and up here. I'll get like behind my ears, like right here in my neck, get back here. I'll get like my collarbone. I know it seemed a lot for the girls who get it, get it, and the girls that don't. You just don't. And that's okay. Don't shame us for doing all this because, yes, it takes a lot. And I'm okay with it, you know. I'm okay with it. I like to smell good, so there's all the steps that I like to do. I will say, your perfume is not going to last if you put in perfume on dry skin. It needs something to stick to. 
you need to have something. Your body needs to be moisturized so your perfume can have something to stick to. That's just like with makeup. You can't be putting foundation on your face with dry, no moisturizer, no primer. You can't do that. It, it ain't gonna work. So it's layers to makeup just as well as to layering, you know, your perfume. For the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't. You just don't. So I'm gonna kinda go ahead and jump into like some of my favorite scent combos. I have found myself being a, I'm a big fan of gourmand. I'm a gourmand girly. I love vanilla. I love caramel. I love to smell edible. Most people don't like to walk around smelling like syrup. Most people don't want to walk around smelling like a cookie. I do. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just am. I love smelling musky, grown woman, date night type of smell. And I love the fresh and clean. Fruity, I'm not against it, but I don't really find myself like going for more of the fruity scents. That's just not me. That's just my preference, you know? We're going to start off with a fresh everyday type of thing like i will show y'all what that routine would be i will start with this right here this is the um tph taraji p Hitson brand and this is the time this is the wind down and it's with lang lang and palo santo i feel like this is a good everyday i feel like this compare with anything to be honest it's real clean like smelling it's fresh i can smell like a citrus type of smell in it. Once I get out of the shower, I will use this by TPH. And this is the vanilla and tuberose. I feel like this complements that fragrance well. Also have like a regular body oil that is fragrance free. And that helps, you know, to, you know, seal in that moisture. This is a Bath and Body Works fragrance. They don't make this no more. I love this. I use this. Remember the baby powder See, If you over on oil baby powder, I use that. Um, of course, the spray. And I use this coach here. I don't really know what this smells like, but it smells good and it's more clean. It's not like a gourmand. It's not fruity. It just smells clean. I'll show you the one that I really have been loving. Like, I just really recently came up with this combo. I have three choices for like body wash. We can either go with this um, OGX. This is the Decadent Aroma. And this really, it smells like a grandma. It smells like a bakery shop. It smells really cakey. I can either use this for this combo or I can use this Bourbon Vanilla from Cremo. This is more, it smells more mature than that. This smells more playful. This is more mature, if that makes sense. Or we can do this one here. I got the coconut, coconut and coffee. And this is more creamy, custardy. Like a coffee. It's not like a potent like coffee scent. You know how like a roasted ground coffee, how it can just be super strong. I feel like is that coconut kind of like softens the coffee scent will be the three body washes i will pair with this combo so those three body washes one of those three go to this is the holy grail everybody knows i love this i love this i have to have this this is my second bottle and this is the eos 24 24 hour moisturizing body lotion vanilla cashmere and it has whipped vanilla soft musk and cozy caramel your girl Love this. This is really moisturizing. So I will put this on first. I had just recently got hip to the body glaze from Cameron's Beauty. I got this off the TikTok shop. TikTok shop. And this smells like um, a caramel frappe from McDonald's. It smells good. This is really gourmand. Like, you gonna smell very edible. And I don't mind it. Some people, like I said, it smells like caramel, but some people say, like, it smells like syrup, you smell like pancakes, you smell like waffles. Um, I don't mind it, but it smells good to me. And as you can see, how much I'm at the bottom. This, then this, like to seal in that moisture. Oh, I have my roll-on of choice. This is the roll-on. It's from Beth and Body Works. I just dum 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 put that on have the body spray i will ch -ch 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 -ch. be it this is my new baby camera latafa 
it's like a Middle Eastern um, perfume, Arabian perfume, very affordable. Mm. And she smells like apple pie. I feel like you smell a little bit of caramel, cinnamon. So I don't feel like the scent is for everybody, but I like this. Like, I love this projection. It smells so good. Longevity. To combine, like these be the two perfumes of choice, really. It would be this ambery cherry um, dossier. It's very, it's a dupe to Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And as y'all can see, that's how much I got left. But baby, these three here. Flip like a pancake. <laughs> hey, up. Okay, you're going to eat the girls up. You're going to be eating. Somebody going to be ready. Just saying. I'm just, or we can still use those three body washes that I use. This here. This here. It's a new one. But I love it, y'all. As y'all can see how much I, use, I um done use it. I have oil. To seal that baby in and just put this on with it too because it's got notes of cinnamon and that kind of got like a hint of cinnamon in it too but in this 10 out of 10 or without that camera that i had you can use pink sugar if y'all remember pink sugar this is an og and this just gives me high school vibes but this still a good hit it's a dupe to um killing love don't be shy but this is ultra sweet added 10 out of 10 and this is the og of fantasy you know the fantasy collection by britney spears mm. all those go well with that so i just play around with different ones whatever i'm feeling make a scent stronger in the body cream or you know, whatever I'm feeling that day, y'all. I just play around with what works for me so that each note can complement each other. And I know, like I said, it may seem like a lot. And I'm going to keep saying this for the, for the girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. And it's fine. I have like a Baccarat, like, dupe. I have a lot of dupes for Baccarat. I have like a sweet note in there to me, but I'm not sure if it does or not. I will use this right here. This is the Native um, Citrus Herbal Musk. I will use this one. Or I will use this. And to be honest, I feel like these two are men's body wash. I know for sure this one is, but Native don't have men or women. I feel like they just got different scents that you can feel like more is one girly, but hey, unisex for me. I use these two. One of those for this combo here. I may will use this or just some regular lotion. I will use this or some regular oil without no scent. As y'all can see, I done used it, but, but, but this is in the stars from bath and body works have the spray i also have the baccarat rollo oil mm -hmm. it's gonna heighten it another dupe that i have this is embry saffron from dossier mm. Mm -hmm. these two together 10 out of 10 Okay, y'all, last but not least, this is actually the scent that I'm going to wear today. Will either be the Cremo, this one, or this one. So maybe these three. Oil of choice would be this. I will moisturize my body with this. This is Amber Dior. This kind of smells like Dark Kiss from Bath and Body Works, but I feel like a little bit more. <sighs> sweeter if you know what dark kiss from bath and body works smell like this is what that smell like as y'all can see i done dug into that i will use this scent here into the night from bath and body works if you know what this smell like that also smells that body on um, butter that also smells similar i'm going to use this the rihanna rebel flower i would pronounce it and i have this flower bomb um, Victor and Roth body oil, roll on oil. So that's the scent of today. And I would do that. And I know y'all are like, girl, that is a lot. And it is. Child, I don't care. As long as I smell good, that's all that matters. Um, One last thing before we go, where do I spray 
my perfume. So for me, you gotta, what they say, you gotta put that stuff on. They don't say stuff, they say ish. Put that stuff on. <laughs> so for me, like I said, I'll go with my heavy one first. The one first, I will behind the ear here and here, behind my neck, your post, with these points right here, I don't just, well this is like your post points these two points and I'll probably just do like that that's the hip don't do this don't do this air blow it don't do that because you you're messing it up you're messing up the, the formula leave leave it be let it lie leave it alone don't do that just let it it'll 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 dry down eventually go to the same spots as I did you know for the first one and keep it moving so here 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 um i spray on my clothes um and that's it mm -hmm. i was super excited to make this video i couldn't wait to make it i'm gonna have more perfume talk you know in the near future i'm loving hygiene everything hygiene i love to talk about stuff like that um new products what's in your shower what's in my shower i like to do videos like that let me know what kind of what kind of layering combos that you be doing or what you wanted to try um let me know have you tried any of my layering scents that i have um named i it's plenty more that i do but child this is gonna be that will be all day i would be going and going and going on i hope this video was helpful i want you and myself to get the most out of our fragrances honey these, these fragrances these cost a pretty penny and we want to get the most out of each fragrance that we buy but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on anything that i have said in this video please feel free to comment also please don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get alerts when your girl posts a new video because what because what because how's y'all gonna see me see you guys in another video goodbye